What's up? What's up? So, listen, if it wasn't for my sister giving me some tough love and basically saying, like, Sherry, the only reason I haven't unfollowed you on Facebook is because you're my sister, but you are a total famer. So, yeah, that was definitely some tough love. Not really what I wanted to hear at the time, but I will tell you, if it was not for some tough love, I would not, absolutely would not be where I am today. Now, there there is a difference, and I do want to clarify, like, some tough love versus just being mean. Now, I'm not on here to be mean, but I do want to tell you what you need to know, not what you want to know when it comes to growing a business online. So one of the reasons why you probably aren't where you want to be in your business, you aren't making the kind of money that you want to make, you aren't getting the business builders in, you aren't getting um, the customers that you really want to have in your business, it's probably due to your lack of persistence and commitment, okay? Let me explain myself. My daughter, my little four-year-old, is obsessed with lightning bugs, okay? She would run around the yard and she would catch a lightning bug and she caught one and she was like, I want a jar to put this lightning bug in because I want to take it home. And I'm like, no, baby, you don't need a jar. Just catch and release, girl. Catch and release. Okay, because we don't want to stick one in a jar because all it's going to do is we're going to send it to its grave and that's not cool and it doesn't want to die like it wants to live. And she goes to my husband and she's like, Daddy, I want a jar to put my lightning bug in. And my husband was like, no, you know, you don't need a jar. Just catch them and release. Catch and release, baby. So then she literally like there is a group of us over there. Okay, and she's going to everybody asking them for a jar. She goes to Granny. Granny. Granny usually gives in, and Granny didn't give in. She's like, no, baby, catch and release. Like, you don't need a jar. And we go inside, and guess what? She has a lightning bug in her hand, and her Aunt Megan had done got her a jar. This is the jar. The lightning bug is still alive, and Aunt Megan, which you can't really see it, I'm surprised he hasn't died from the pickle fumes, number one, but there are some little holes so it can breathe. And anyways, this lightning bug is technically still alive. But the moral of my story is that my daughter had a goal in mind, okay? She wanted a jar for her lightning bugs, and she was not going to give up. She was not going to give up no matter how many people told her no. She persisted. She was committed to what she wanted, and she kept going until she got it. Hence why we have a lightning bug in a jar that has not died after 24 hours. I'm surprised. You know, I've been in this business, July will be six years I've been in this business, okay? I struggled tremendously for the first four. I had people ignoring me. I had people who were blocking me and unfollowing me on Facebook. One of the big reasons why I've been able to do what I've done, how I've been able to win affiliate contests this year, how I've been able to come in and be number one on the leaderboards, how I've been able to get on and train people, that would not have happened had I given up or quit or let my excuses get in the way or not be committed to the stinking process, okay? Tough love Tuesday is in the house. And maybe right now, you know, you're struggling. You're not generating leads. People aren't engaging on your posts. You're not getting customers. You know, maybe that's because you aren't putting in the work and you aren't committed to the process. I coach and I mentor people, and the problem that so many people have is they give up too freaking soon, and they aren't committed to the process. They come in, and I'm trying to teach them marketing, and I'm trying to help them with branding, and then guess what happens after two or three weeks or a month of them not getting results or not generating, like, 50 leads in a day, which, by the way, you know, it took me a long time. I've been very committed to the process, and I put in the work. I'm committed, which is why I am now I'm able to say, hey, I succeeded even though I was a total spammer for the first four years and I didn't do anything. I was still committed to the process. And I was going to continue working hard despite not knowing what in the heck I was doing. So, yeah, you're probably not going to hit six figures or you're probably not going to start generating like 
five leads a day or ten leads a day after 30 days when you don't know your butt from a hole in the ground. You're just trying to learn, like, marketing. You need to, like, put on the reins, stay committed to the process, and quit making excuses. Same goes, let's say, for weight loss, okay? I went from a size 10, 12 to a size 6 after 28 days. If I don't do my pledges every single day, if I'm not drinking my water, if I'm not taking my products, I'm not going to see a size 4. I can't sit here and eat Twinkies and expect to see any results. I can't sit here and expect my business to grow if I'm not committed to the process and I'm not committed to the journey and I'm not sitting here doing the daily activities required to build a successful business. You have to stay committed. You have to persist. And so when you think about giving up or you think about letting those bullcrap BS excuses enter your head, then what you need to do is you need to go back and you need to think about what you did when you were a child and you need to think about Biddy and her lightning bug, okay? And you need to persist because that is the only way that you're going to get what you want in life regardless, okay? But that's really my message to you tonight. Hope you got some value. Again, feel free to share it out. Sharing is caring. Bye, guys.